Welcome to week 13 of English 120. This week you're going to be reading some more in book 2, chapters 17 through 19, the end of book 2. Then you're begin going to begin book 3 of the Valley of the Moon. You're going to read chapters 1 through 3. This week's conversation will be about those chapters of the Valley of the Moon. In comp class you're going to learn more about doing online research which will hopefully help you find even better sources and more sources for your annotated bibliography, which is due on April 28th. Just um, to let you know, there is no research journal due this week. I would rather you spend the time working on your annotations for your annotated bibliography. So this week, you'll be reading about um, the end of their, of, of um, the end of the days in Oakland for Saxon and Billy, um, and she. We begin um, book book two, chapter seventeen, with Saxon's mantra becoming Oakland is just a place to start from, which you'll remember she learned from um, the young Jack London that she um, encountered in chapter sixteen of book two. Why do you think this quote? Uh, what do you think this quotation means? Um, this is from page two eighteen. Her mind was made up. The city was no place for her and Billy, no place for love nor for babies. So based on what's happened to them so far, answer that question and let me know what you think that quotation means. Then in chapter um, 17, we learn more about Mary, um, what's happened to her since the big riot um, where Bert was, um, was killed. Uh, what's happened to her, what, what has she been doing, um, it's only alluded to, so if you don't quite know what's going on with Mary, please do um, ask questions um, and bring it up in the um, discussion forum, because it's important you know what she's, what she's been doing. Uh, what do Billy and Saxon see when they go to the cinema? Um, so Billy finally gets out of jail, and Billy and Saxon go on a date and they go to the cinema. And you'll remember that during this time period, and I want you to look it up, films were quite different than they are today. So tell us what films were like during this period, and you might want to actually look this up on an outside source. Um, and then what happens in this film um, that kind of plants a, a seed in their minds for um, what they want to do next in their lives. Um, then what happens to Billy in chapter 18 um, he has a chance encounter that does not end well. Um, there's an allusion to a famous character um, called Rob Robinson Crusoe and his man Friday. Um, these are um, characters from a Daniel Defoe novel, so please make sure you look them up. And then I want you to tell me why Billy uses this analogy. Why does he refer to these characters? And they will occur again, so it's good to know who these people were. How is present day San Leandro different from the San Leandro Billy and Saxon visit in book three, chapter one? Uh, San Leandro looks really different these days. Please find some Google map pictures to look at it um, in present day and compare it to what it looked like in the early 1900s. What happens when Saxon and Billy hit the road? What are their what what are their stereotypes about the Portuguese? Why doesn't Billy believe that they earned their success? So Billy has a lot as as we've known throughout the story. Saxon is a lifelong learner. She's open to change. She's open to understanding people for who they are, whereas Billy. Um, has a lot of predetermined stereotypes and it's harder for him to accept people who are different from himself. So really pay attention to this first, um, these first two chapters when we meet um, Antonio Silva and see his farming practices and we watch the reactions that Billy has um, about immigrant farmers. What becomes their plan for obtaining knowledge on their journey? How did Antonio Silva make it, make it as a farmer? And what inventions does he come up with? These are really quite amazing, his inventions. Um, and also pay attention to the way that Saxon and Billy believe they should learn throughout their journey. They kind of come up with an idea of how they're going to how they're going to how they're going to acquire knowledge on their journey. What is Billy's farm dream? How large a farm does he want? Where does this idea of a large farm come from? You might have to do some outside research to understand what the land grants were. Um, for this question, 
Um, Billy's farm dream is quite different from uh, Saxon's dream, and it's important that you understand what Billy's dream is. Finally, what happens the first night that Billy and Saxon camp out? And what do we learn from their experience? What can this episode teach us about their adventure and what they know going into it? So when they first camp out, they, they experience, they encounter some very scary animals. So be prepared and um, definitely write your response here. Don't forget, your initial post is due by 11.59 p.m. on Saturday for full credit. You also need to respond to at least three of your peers' posts Let's try to really expand the conversation in these responses. Um, no, just good jobs and things like that. I want you to really talk about the text. So this week, um, you're going to be working on your annotated bibliography. It's due at the end of the week on the 28th at 11.59 p.m. Um, it's the same assignment from last week. It's approximately four to six pages, six sources. Please follow the format I went over in last week's lecture. Um, it must be in that format for you to receive full credit. And this assignment is worth 100 points. All right, for comp class this week, you're going to be doing the um, uh, lesson, the research lesson and quiz on online research. It will be due April 28th at 11.59 p.m. Next week, we're going to start actually drafting our research paper. Are you excited? I'm excited. You're going to continue to read The Valley of the Moon, chapters 4 through 9 in book 3. Um, you're also going to be reading in The Bedford Researcher, chapter 11 and 13. This is really going to help you get ready for writing your, um, the rough draft of your, um, of your research paper, which is going to be due in two weeks. Um, the discussion will be about your Valley of the Moon reading, and then you'll be creating an outline as your research journal. That's it for this week. Please let me know if you have any questions. If not, I will see you online.